channel. My name is Nanipia. You can also call me Mom to Four Boy. For those of you who just joined the channel, I would like to say welcome. Thank you for joining the family and also people who are here already. Thank you for staying. So today I am here to talk about a personal incident. Let me call it incident that happened in my family. I've never talked about it before. I mean, you know, my family knows about it. Otherwise, no one knows. So I think, you know, sharing these experiences will help my mothers and my fathers out here. Before I go ahead and talk about it, as you can see, look at my background. I have a video of me playing <laughs> in the background. This is my YouTube channel. So if you are here, you're watching my video and you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and subscribe. And also don't forget turn the notification icon anytime i post a video you'll be the first person to be notified so here on this channel i cover lifestyle food health diy home home videos and also parenting health anything in between so without much i do let's go ahead if you have any question please do not hesitate put them in the comment section down below okay and also don't forget i'm on facebook i'm on instagram i'm on tiktok the same name mom to four boys you cannot miss me okay so let's go ahead and talk about this issue so as i always say you know um i have older kids and sometimes i like to actually advise you know people who are here on my channel all the time i say i am not here to impose my values and my beliefs on anyone it is my experience i come here and share it with you based on that you make your own decision as to how to parent your kid okay I am the type of person all the time I like to look at my boys, okay? Sometimes you look at their demeanor, you look at, at the way they are behaving and you know something is not right. Sometimes I get it wrong, you go and ask them what is going on. Mom, I'm okay, what do you think? You know, so straight away you know there's nothing going on. It's the fact that probably I am overthinking, but most of the time I get it right. I would say about 98% of the time I get it right because you live with them, you have to know them. It doesn't really matter whether they are old or they are young you have to know them okay i mean i don't know if it's the right thing for me to do even if my kids are married and they are not in my house again anytime i see them i'll try and figure out if there's something going on so just look at this nonverbal cues from your kids okay just to find out if there's anything going on and all the time i would say 99 percent of the time i am right so one of my sons was just you know showing up this moody anxiety you know stress you know kind of behavior and that wasn't really it was very very uncomfortable so i went to him and i asked him if there's anything going on and yes of course the first time they would say nothing is going on i tried as much as i could but did not talk to me at all oh, mom there's nothing going on but then i can see i could see there's something going on with this boy like something is not right it appears in the way he, you know he's talking it appears in the body it appears in his face and even his skin and everything you can see all that if you really want to know you can see that so i initially he didn't talk to me i decided to call the dad that is what i do sometimes if i push and push and push i'll call the dad and it's like this is what is going on this is what i found but the dad is in the um, where most of the time i work because i'm a nurse you know um I work mine is a booster base. My, my my husband is an electrical engineer, so he goes Monday to Friday. So most of the time I'm at home and he's at work and I call him and it's like something is not right. So we talk about it. So he called, you know, my son, spoke to my son, but my son didn't confide in him as well. So I went back to his room and it's like, what at all is going on? You need to tell me what is going on. And then later he opened up and he said something like you know what mom the reason why i don't want to tell you is you 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 just you know if i tell you you are just going to go way out of proportion and be so angry about things which i did not want you to do that i mean every mother if your child is going through something and you think it is not right you think somebody or someone is trying to take your your kid happiness yes you are going to be angry so that is what i say I said yes whatever you are coming to tell me if you think you deserve for me to be irritated that is exactly what i'm going to do but regardless you have to tell me because i'm an adult and i know how to handle issues like that so my son apologized you know mom please do not do anything that i wouldn't like this is how i want you to handle the case 
I'm telling you because you are my mom. I don't want you to go and get you know, angry. I don't want that. I'm like, okay, whatever you say, I, I will just be. So my son was dating this girl. Um, and every time we advise them to go out with, you know, some specific people, not that we are trying to restrict our boys to date some, you know, some people. But we always advise them to go, you know, for people who are from a good home. And if I talk about a good home, I'm not talking about riches. People who have been brought up in a very good home. At least, you know, there are some parents you see them or some family you see them, you know. You know, this is a decent family. You know, we advise them all the time. And you have to look at the person you are moving around with. Yes, love conquers everything. Love is good. Do not get me wrong, love is good, but then all these come into play, okay, for you to actually enjoy what you love. So we talk to our boys all the time. So, I mean, anytime they bring anybody home, actually, you can see the person is from, a, you know, a good thing, even before we meet the parents, okay. So he started going out with this girl, which I never met before, to be very honest with you. I never saw that it was in initial state. So... He told me about it and said one day he's going to introduce the girl with me. And that is what they do us. That is what they do. They go out with a girl for about a couple of weeks just to know if they will be, you know, the you know, the right person for them and then they will introduce it. But you know, just after they meet the person, they will let us know. So I never met the girl to be honest with you. So my son called me and told me that, you know what? He's been going out with a girl for a couple of weeks, but he doesn't think he's the right person for him. Actually, he didn't tell me what was going, what is going on. It is hard to get anything from these boys when it comes to you know, their relationship with their girlfriends. But they will let you know that you know something is going, something is not right. They will let you know, but they will not go into details. And if you are talking, uh, talking to them about their girlfriend, you have to be very, very careful. And I'm also a lady, so sometimes I understand things like that. Okay, so. Because, you know, if you are not very careful, you are going to say something that will hurt your son and, you know, probably your, the girlfriend will not be there, but will hurt your son as well. Because at the end of the day, you want them to tell you things so you'll be able to help them. So don't say anything that will just take them off or that will just push them from coming to you and telling you something that you actually you really want to help them with. So um, he told me that, you know, mommy, I don't think this is the right person for me. I've been going out a couple of times with him, but I don't think he's the right person because um, they went out, you know, on a couple, in a, in a couple, you know, couple, you know, some, some instances and things weren't right the way the girl was behaving, you know, and things like that, but he doesn't actually want to continue the relationship. So he told the girl, um, and I think the girl also went to tell the mom. Initially, the mom was, you know, according to my son, the mom was happy the two of them going out and things like that. The mom was happy. Um, so I don't know, probably the mom was very disappointed with my son or whatever it is. I don't know what was going on, but my son said that the mom started texting him, threatening him, if you break my daughter's heart, this is what I'm going to do to you. I am going to do this, I am going to do that, and this and that and that. It is not important for me to be saying things like that, but this is a threat. So my son showed me all the threat messages and things like that. I'm talking about serious threat. So I asked my son, so what do you want me to do? Mom, I don't think he's going to do anything. So just so you know, this is what is going on in case anything or anything happened to me or anything. It's like, no. If we don't come in and stop things like that, you never know. People are capable of doing anything, okay? So don't just take it as, you know, something light for you to do. But then he stopped as he said, you know, I, if anything happens, I will just let you know. But for now, this is what, or this is how the threat is coming from, you know, from, from, from the man. So I just want you guys to know. So, you know, that is when I was also interested to ask what actually happened for you to make that decision. He actually didn't tell me exactly what happened, but it sounded like he wasn't, you know, who he thought she was, if that makes any sense. She started getting some clues, okay, or some, you know, some, 
some clues from you know from 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 here whenever they go out and you know he realized you know this is not something i want to take further so he decided to actually step back and he sat the girl down told him and everything it looks like we have totally different visions and visions and you know passions and things like that let the girl know the reason why and i asked him so when you said that to the girl what did he she do he said she took it okay so i don't know why the mom is coming to do things like that so it sounds very very weird for a mature woman to actually do that you know and actually yes of course i wasn't going to take it you know someone scaring my son someone making my son feel uncomfortable i wasn't going to do that but then as he said you just have to listen to them and the dad also said something like you know now that nothing is happening and um the reason why i was okay with my son's decision is the fact that they live very far from here you know even far away even from Gold Coast. so mom i'm not going to go to that area so i don't think anything of that sort will happen to me so maybe we don't have to talk about it so he said he sent the lady a message to tell her that you know i spoke to my parents about your threat and everything and this is what my mom wanted to do to contact you so we can solve it and i stopped them from doing that so my parent knows about it and guess what everything stopped okay so no more threats no more messages and things like that so yes as a parent you know i'm using mine as an example you just have to monitor them okay and verbal cues it's very very important at least you'll be able to grasp on something from them they are not all the time ready to come and talk to you sometimes they think they are old enough to handle their own issues but no they are not they are not old enough to handle their own issues you still you still have to be there regardless i will be there for my kid i don't care who they marry i don't care how how old they are i will be there for my kid and whoever is coming close to them if you don't like it you know that is your own problem but it will be there look out for the nonverbal cues and having said that i'm not the type of person who is always you know on your son's shoulder and you know calling them and things no i'm not like that at least you know exactly what i'm talking about but then when there's issue if i can assist if i can support if they can lean on me that is exactly what i'm going to provide for them so sometimes you just have to look at their demeanor okay there's something the way they are behaving and verbal cues you just have to pick up on things like that you'll be able to figure out what is going on so you can help them okay and this is what we did and i knew if i hadn't like asked him things probably he wouldn't be able to confide in us and tell us okay even that we have to talk and talk and talk and push and push him for him to tell us so look at those non-verbal cues okay if you find that they are going through problems or if you find that they are stressed and things like that ask them because there is something happening i mean people cannot be stressed and agitated and uh, uh, um, you know um, in the low mood and you know just for the fun of it there should be something there should be something that is aggravating that behavior okay so there should be something so by all means there's something you figure it out and if you can work your way out to let them confide and talk to you that is the most important thing okay because even as an adult don't forget problems problem share is half solved you share your problem with someone you trust someone you trust please someone you trust i talk to my mom a lot because i know my mom is not going to put me out there someone you trust problems shared let me take this again problem shared is half solved even us as an adult what about them trying to you know transition from being a teenager to an adult it is already hard on them already so they need to share their problems with you but here is the case they feel that you know what you know i don't want to be a mom's boy i don't want to say anything to my mom so you have to go closer to them encourage them tell them it is okay for them to confide and talk to you or talk to anybody like you know their dad or you know anybody they trust so you'll be able to try you'll, you'll be able to support them as much as you can okay so this is my story if you want to know anything about it just 
put your you know your question or anything your comment in the co comment section down below and don't forget to watch the other videos my last video i recorded last week is just introduction and also i talk about how strict is strict to parent and how loose is loose to parent the name is nanequia don't forget subscribe to this youtube channel there's a lot coming i cover lifestyle food health um home videos parenting anything in between okay and also don't forget to, to go to youtube i'm um, sorry to go to um facebook and also i am on instagram and tiktok connect with me there and join this family again my name is nanequia Bwachua. you can call me mom to four boys and i'll see you again in my next video i love you all Now let's set the mood in the culture